Hello everyone, this is Ball for Life 8657. It is about 9 a.m. Eastern Time. I want to address um, a couple of things that one of them is very good news, one of them is response to that good news, and I want to address both of those. So yesterday, thanks to uh, an outside consultant who was brought in, Mr. Brandon Cole, Microsoft has announced that the new Forza game, which is scheduled to be released sometime this year, is going to have what they're calling blind driving assists. And essentially what that means is we're going to have audio cues and, and, and voiced information that's going to pretty much help us drive the car. Now, I'm not going to go into all the specifics. For one, I don't know all the specifics. And for two, they will be revealed in due course. That's not what this is about. But congratulations must go to Brandon and must go to the folks at Turn 10 Studios for making this happen. Now, I want to address some things that I've been seeing on Twitter and uh, on Mastodon. This news has gotten everywhere, from The Verge to CNN to all sorts of places that have been reporting on it. I'm going to say that, you know, if you're doing something to be reported by the mainstream media like this, then you're doing something right. Absolutely. Now, there are those people who will comment and who will say things like, well, why is this being done? Blind people can't play video games. You know, they, they shouldn't be doing this. They shouldn't be, uh, developers shouldn't be making this stuff happen. For the genuinely curious, blind people do play video games. We play them all the time. As a matter of fact, there are a lot of us who not only play video games, but we actively stream them. My YouTube channel and my Twitch channel are prime examples of this. I play everything from Madden Football to uh, PGA Tour Golf to Brock the Investigator to The Last of Us to, um, you know, Forza Motorsport 7. You know, we all play a variety of different things. There are people who play Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter and... We play all sorts of games, regardless of the accessibility or lack thereof. And for those who are just being trolls, go float yourselves. If you don't know what that means, watch the 100. You'll find out real quick what it means. Now, to those people who are getting very upset, and rightfully so, um, about how people are treating this. A little bit of word of advice. It's perfectly okay to get upset, but what it's not okay and what we should not do is give these trolls the time of day. Whether you are responding directly to them or you are putting it out there on social media, just don't do it. Because all these people are going to do is go around regardless of what it is and be bitter about something for their own personal preferences or enjoyment. They're not truly interested in gaming for everybody. They're not truly interested in, in, in games being played by other people. They are just throwing a temper tantrum because they can. Just ignore it. Do not give them the time of day. Because nothing should detract from what is being done, and other than this little video acknowledging that this is going on, I'm not going to acknowledge it any further. And that's the end of this little video. Short, sweet, and to the point. This is Daryl Bowles, also known as Fall for Life 8657, and I will be signing off today. And if there is a stream today, you will see that, and if not, we will see you all for the Sim stream tomorrow. Good day, everyone.